Hey Pisces, welcome back. Um, September is going to be a very big month for you. You're going to be tested in a lot of ways. You're going to be looking at things that you can't believe you're looking at or thought you would never have to, especially if there is a pile of things that you have stored for later if you're saving things for later now is definitely the time to get our responsibilities in check so today Venus has moved into Virgo and the Knight of Wands sorry there's a glare The Knight of Cups in reverse. Okay. So with Virgo, excuse me, with Venus being in Virgo, you're going to want to look at where you're spending your energy in all of your life. So like um, a chart almost of how much energy you're putting into family, friends, relationship, um, work. Okay, you're going to want to look closer than you're maybe used to at our habits okay the things that like i said the things that we do daily but also if you're saving things for later they're gonna show up <laughs> right before Your full moon, Mercury and Libra goes retrograde. I'm going to sort these out and tell you a little bit about these next few weeks because it's so important for you right now to understand nothing's really going unchecked okay be it um like just i'm telling you the craziest things are gonna come up and you don't want to get caught in like the drama of it the mess of it because the effects it can have can really bleed over into different areas all at once okay we're talking about mostly your health and your finances and they're gonna be affected and then on top of that you know relationships will also be tested so it's really important for you right now to withdraw your energy okay you can do this for like every timeline every dimension everywhere right now just pull all of your power to you because I have a feeling that some of it's like an energy leak, okay? <clears throat> if that makes sense. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have some energy leaks and it's going to... It's going to need addressed... Okay, it doesn't need to be by everyone, but you need to get really honest with yourself right now. What are you holding on to that is not facilitating your growth, your movement? Okay, and that's another tricky part about September for you is that with six planets being in retrograde, we can do a whole lot of damage just not understanding that there's not a lot of motion forward okay so it's like the more we try the more we might wonder why we're trying and so long as you know that now it's gonna help you out so much because you're not gonna feel like it's anything wrong that you're doing you're really just cornered in Virgo season to face things that you haven't really made time for, okay? Parts of you 
that okay this is shadow work this is definitely shadow work with the alchemist okay this would be like the temperance card having balance in both land and water okay it's it's a crazy time for mutables all the mutable energies i mean in the middle of the month venus will come together with gemini in mars or mars and gemini excuse me these energies mixed is like one huge battle okay little things that you've said little things that you joke about sometimes even just things that you wouldn't believe can easily get blown out of proportion um we're gonna shuffle on what to do more in like those individual situations but understand um, now is not really the time to start new projects, um, not the time to partner up with somebody. It would definitely be well worth it to, like I said, pull back, okay, um, where you can within reason, of course. You know, there's always people that go to extremes. But to pull back and really objectively look at what's going on you know from your higher self perspective um i always suggest people meditate it's really hard to do anything in life if you can't um if you don't have the clarity of yourself right your self-awareness because then everything seems like an ongoing battle um things seem very petty and just like waste of time and yeah there's some habits here to break but let's start with your moon okay you're gonna feel like you're under a magnifying glass um it doesn't mean that you are but parts of you that you've probably saved for later are still waiting for you and it becomes I think it becomes very obvious for you um like I said Mercury retrograde goes <laughs> Mercury and Libra goes retrograde right before your moon and I swore one flipped out and so that's where I don't know if it's just the back of the card. It kind of already feels like Libra season. Yeah, that's where things can feel kind of like unfair, out of balance. Um, and Libra is a sign of balance. It can seem really just out of the blue. Like I'm, I'm hoping that most of this makes sense because you're going to be able, it's going to happen in different ways for different people, right? But there's a feeling and a sense and an energy of not getting your way, not getting your fair share, not get reaping, you know, all the hard work. You thought you were going to have the ten of coins, but like you set yourself back in some way. Um, it's it's an energy leak. What I see right now, okay, the four of cups on the bottom of the deck, I see things pulling you out of your power. I see pettiness, um, not all of it, right? Some of it could be just and very serious, but I do see pettiness, unnecessary conflicts, just avoidable stuff. Um, and honestly, if it's something that is serious, and you haven't sorted it out yet, now is the time to get really quiet. Okay, think of the Hermit card. That's what represents Virgo season, that's going within. And anything outside of that really isn't gonna fulfill you right now. You're gonna find all of your power in 
being alone with your thoughts and not beating yourself up, okay? This Four of Cups energy, I mean, it could make you reactive, um, want to go somewhere, think like the grass is greener on the other side type of energy. That's just not... Um, that's not really the case because what the four of cups is is you having an opportunity but you know these other cups the three other cups they're they're all the things that you saved for later maybe it's not exciting for you to think about setting boundaries with um family setting boundaries with friends even romantic relationships work it, it, boundaries in any department um, you'll learn to benefit greatly from those. Definitely find your place with that. But the thing is, after you set those boundaries, you know, you're not going to have this leak. You're not going to have... <sighs> you can very easily still have people coming at you or... You know, everybody's going to be fighting and like it, none of it's going to make sense at first. Okay. And that's how the third week of September is going to be. And then this last week of September, it's going to be relief. Okay. You're going to find more relief from probably like the 19th, 20th on. And especially when the sun moves into Libra on the 22nd. So what I want to see you do, Pisces, is take advantage of this time rather than go out there and, you know, um, sabotage any opportunities. Because I understand what it's like to, you know, um, have everything kind of, you know, work, relationship, family all of it just kind of blends together and it's like I'm just gonna pull <laughs> I'm gonna pull because I don't want to um oh we did have a card okay the hanged one that was the card that was flipped over earlier the hanged man He's upside down on purpose. Okay. He's there because he's nourishing his mind, his crown chakra. He's stopped, came to a complete pause because he understands the value of the knowledge. Okay. I know this isn't the most exciting reading. And... So that's kind of the thing is you have to reset. You know, you're resetting. Like okay, sorry about that, Pisces. I um, had to recharge. So I was just saying the hanged man, you know how your computer or your cell phone isn't usable while it's updating? That's very similar to what I would say is the best path to take during September. Um, let's pull some of these. But yeah, I definitely think that it would serve you well to, you know, just double check. See, there's a lot of, there's like a lot of holding on, I think. Um, but you know what? That's what and that's what this time is for. It's just to assess, you know, what needs to be let go of, what needs to be dusted off and cleaned up and put to better use. All those kinds of things. These cards are just so okay. Pisces. Oh, I pulled two, so the dreamer. Archangel, Metatron, this card zero, a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. 
And we have the King of Fire is motivational, idealistic, ambitious, charismatic, focus, 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 communicate with vision, and be a leader. Advice from someone creative. I love these cards. So this would be like, you know, the King of Wands energy. Um, yeah, you'll get there. And this is really just, it's a blank slate, but you know what? people get stuck on is the fear of change or um it i mean it's really fear fear of change yeah the unknown right um we have a very blank slate ahead of us and i want to see you best take advantage of that because all of this um it can be used as leverage Okay, well, follow me um, if you enjoyed our time here, and I guess subscribe, like, engage, comment, tell me something about yourself, how you like this reading, what you would like to see more of on here from me, and I look forward to hearing from you.